Riyadh season in London, Wembley Stadium, Anthony Joshua, Daniel Dubois. I'm sure we have a lot to say about this one here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull up the predictions on you guys' screens because, man, you said this is the one that can separate me. And you got it. We both got the Mungia one. Let me go ahead and make it bigger for you guys. Let me make it bigger on your screen so you guys can uh, see it there. Uh, we're we're on a good roll. We're on a good roll. Uh, I think you got like five, six in a row right now. The Joshua one kind of killed me. But, you know, you took the risk. Daniel Dubois, hindsight, I'm sure you were happy about that. To me, it was a 50-50 fight. So that, that, that wasn't a bad risk right there. Is the heavyweight division. Both guys could punch. One guy proved that he can take the punch better. And that was your boy. Triple D. Daniel Dubois. Daniel like, Dynam I Dynamite. I'm giving a triple D. Yeah, just, you know. <laughs> to me, he's still Daniel Dubois double D. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there's, only, there's only a few triples, man. No there's diddy. No diddy. <laughs> no diddy. <laughs> there's, a few, there's a few triples. Hey, I only... Chris, I only said that because it's Di uh, Daniel Dynamite Dubois. All right. That's what he's promoting on his trunks and all that. So, hey, it wasn't me. It was him. <laughs> and again, he, he, he did have Dynamite, you know, this past weekend. And yeah, you're right, Gio. Uh, if you see the clip where, where I do my prediction, I didn't say it all fully confident. Again, that right hand of Joshua is one of the, you know, one of the, the deadliest weapons in boxing. And I was nervous. You know, even through the fifth fifth round, again, we know that the, the safe bet, the safe prediction is to go for Anthony Joshua. He's a proven champion. He's been to the mountaintop. Like I said, he's got the experience, the name, the backing. Trust me, when I saw the the, the fight, those 96,000 British fans, I I, I want to say 90% of them would probably scream for Joshua. So, again, it's, it's good for boxing if Joshua wins. If you want... Their cash count to continue winning, but I just felt it, and I just felt that Dan Dubois could not be denied, and and thank my lucky stars, I was right. Yeah, and Joshua got caught early in the fight, Chris. Uh, he got caught in the first round, kind of didn't recover from there. Um, I thought he recovered pretty well, you know, but he went down a few more times, um, and even when he got knocked out, it, it seemed like he caught Dubois with a clean punch. Dubois knees kind of buckled a little bit joshua pounced on him took took two many hooks you can say i mean they're not many obviously because these are coming from heavyweights but he took once one uh not so powerful hook still didn't put his left hand up chin was straight up in the air and he decided to lead with the uppercut obviously uppercut versus a short hook you can take the guess who landed who landed first and Joshua, uh, I just think, man, he he was taking some punishment in the fight. Uh, didn't look like the strongest punch, but I do think it was just um, the the cumulative uh, power punches that were landing on Joshua. I believe it was a second knockdown where his gloves touched the canvas. The referee, for some reason, didn't call it a knockdown, and that ended up hurting Joshua. He took four or five more shots at the end of that round and kind of just... Uh, wobbled back to his corner and yeah I mean if if he would have made that comeback it would have been incredible you know when he landed that straight right you know Daniel Dubois backed up but yeah Joshua a little too careless man and I think at this stage of his career that's something you cannot afford to do you know Tyson Fury was in attendance uh I'm sure both of them were thinking about the millions of dollars that that are just going down the drain because they marinated that fight for too long. Look, if they put 96,000 at the Wembley Stadium against Daniel Dubois, you can only imagine what they could do with Tyson Fury. You can imagine what that life gate will be like, the pay-per-view numbers, the biggest fight in UK history. Man, I think this hurts Joshua a lot. I think this hurts Tyson Fury a lot. Joshua at 34 years old, I don't know how much he has left in the tank. He took some big shots here. He got stopped yet again. Man, I you look, I, I really like Anthony Joshua, but man, I, I don't think he's 
I don't think he's an A A class fighter anymore. You know, heavyweights. You gotta say Tyson Fury. You gotta say Usyk. And now you have to put Daniel Dubois up there. He has a title, even though Usyk never lost it. So I don't know. It's the title with an asterisk, but Daniel Dubois still has it. You have, you gotta give him credit for this win. Yeah, again, uh, we're going to get props to Dan Dubois because he, you know, he he obviously was superiorly confident in, in, in himself. Not the most technical sound uh, fighter, not, you know, you know, just like many of the fighters we've mentioned on the podcast, you know, they don't have the greatest boxing abilities and it's tough, right, at the heavyweight division to to bring those abilities up there. You know, a few guys like Tyson Fury have him, like Usyk have him, but um, Dan Dubois, you know, he just... You know, stuck to the game plan and he took the fight to Anthony from the get go, made him uncomfortable from the first second of that fight. You know, we could see Joshua, his body language, his, his stance, like you said, the chin was out. You know, it, it was just not the Joshua that we're used to seeing. It's not the Joshua that we remember when, you know, that fought the Klitschko that was just up there, superiorly confident, using his reach, using his, his height. You know, he was crouched down, fighting nervous fighting you know on pure heart uh again that's 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 uh that could be your undoing and it was his undoing like you said you he tried to mix it up he got too excited when he tagged dubois and dubois you know great chin showed great chin in, in that moment and caught him with a flush counter and that's all she wrote and again you, you could see the multitude of ninety six thousand fans you could see the the celebrities there in the front row. It was just, it was chaotic. It was, it was beautiful. It was, it was, it was boxing. And again, this is why we love the sport because stuff like this can happen that you don't expect. And boom, it changes the whole landscape. The champions, the heavyweights, the top 10, all these pieces move around. And now you have different names at the top. And we're left with what, where do we go with Joshua from now? And again, we do want to see, you know, those kinds of fights, you know, the fights that we wish we would have gotten. That are that over marinated, he's closer to fighting uh Dante Wilder now than Anthony Fury, in my opinion. Damn, damn, look, I, I think we can definitely look at potential next opponents for Joshua. The heavyweight division right now is hot, I think there's still big names for him, as I said. I think he's done being, being an A level fighter, but I think he could fight guys like Z Lay Zong, Chris. That yeah. can be in London, that can be in China. Uh, both guys have, have taken losses recently, so I think people will buy into that. You know, I think that fight will, will be dubbed as the, you know the guy who loses is pretty much done. You know, Zong, I think he's forty now, uh, or close to forty. Joshua, thirty-four. So, you know, as I said, both guys taking losses recently. I think that's still a good fight. You know, for Dubois, you know, he's he's hoping for that Us Usyk rematch. You know, I'm sure he thinks he won that first fight. You guys remember that that controversial quote unquote low blow where it seemed like Dubois landed right on the belt line and you know Usyk stayed down for a few minutes. You know, I'm sure he thinks, hey, I stopped this guy. You know, he, yeah. he later got stopped uh later in that fight, you know, as it progressed and continued, but I'm sure he'll go confident in a fight against Usyk. And you know, Dubois, as I said, has a ton of power. I think he what he had 21 wins, 20 KOs. You know, now stopping Joshua, I'm sure his confidence is sky high. I'm sure he thinks he can stop Usyk if he's able to land one of those flush punches. Obviously, we're talking about different levels. Usyk, a great defensive fighter. Uh, Joshua, a very average defensive fighter. Um, but look, Dubois is going to get that big fight, man. Now, I don't know if Fury gives him the opportunity if he beats Usyk, but um i think things change for dubois man you just fought in front of ninety six thousand people in england i'm I'm sure he's gonna get the bag from now on i'm sure he got a big one here it was riyadh season turkey al sheik was involved uh obviously frank warren was involved who's undefeated against eddie hearn man i don't know there's just so much going on here chris uh but it was a a great heavyweight fight. The heavyweight division is in a is in great great state right now. I would say a lot of interesting fights, a lot of good fighters. 
um obviously Usyk fury number one and two however you want to put them but everybody else below them um very good fighters and even for the guys who lost still good fights you know you, you mentioned deontay wilder man i don't know i don't know if i want to see him fight again uh especially against any of these names but um the fact of the matter is right now the heavyweight division is hot we had a great fight this fight kind of flew under the radar obviously it was canelo month you know all the headlines were all about canelo this fight was 20 dollars pay-per-view here in the states uh not sure if those numbers will be announced but i don't i don't think it matters chris Ninety six thousand, ninety six thousand at the wembley stadium yes again that just shows it shows the power of, of the names the joshua's like well let's let's be real it was because joshua's had, had such huge stain and like you said the state of uh you know the heavyweight division with things like tyson fury and it was like right there you know looking for the winner of this match and yeah i like you said i i, I have a music one fury two so i have a gold medal silver medal and dubai i inserted right there in the third place that bronze medal uh and he has the opportunity to match these guys if you know if fury were to win he's gonna have to wait a little bit because they're gonna want that rubber match if Usyk is able to, you know, put a stamp on it and and end this, you know, come December, while next in line to to take on Usyk, and I'm one of the guys, Joe, and I, you know, I love Usyk, you know, uh, but I I think that Daniel, you know, should have gotten that win. I'm one of those people that so that was right on the belt line, you know, should have been a deserved, you know, 10, 10 count knockout, and he was robbed of that. That's one of the reasons why I did think he was going to win this fight because he's you know, even though he's like you say, he got that uh, the IBF strap. You know, he hasn't earned it, and this was his moment, his coronation, to to feel like he is a champion. And he's got one thorn, one one more, and then that guy's name is Usyk, and and that fight has to be made. But again, there's your country made across. You've already gotten rid of one. I'm sure you want to get rid of the the other the other gypsy. So, like you said, this is a great time for heavyweights. It's sad that we no longer have the bronze bomber that Joshua was at the top of their game, like you said. But hey, we're here to see great fights, and and the names that are at the top, they can give us those kinds of fights. I think we can all agree right now that Joshua would still defeat Deontay Wilder, correct? Oh, yeah, easy. I mean, Wilder. That was easy, but uh, they're both they're both damaged goods, Gio. Hey. Wilder didn't even throw punches in his last fight. He he went twelve rounds. They didn't even throw a punch. They didn't even did he? Well, he landed like eight punches. He broke a record, I think, for the lowest. Yeah, yeah. That I think that's the fight to be made, and we've seen it with Joshua. One one huge knockout puts him back in people's people's minds. He may not be like you said, you know, the the fire he once was, but you're only as good as your last win. And so if you can get a huge win over a guy like like Deontay Wilder, which I think if we don't if they don't make that fight this coming year, people are gonna lose interest. It's gonna be like a lot of Danny Garcia kind of fight years later. We're like, so what? We don't care anymore. So this is the last time to make a crossroads. The winner, you know, comes back into people's psyche and the loser has to retire. So that's that's an interesting fight that you can still make. And I think we know who wins and who loses, but hey, this is boxing. Yeah, let's let's go to some comments here. Interesting comments. Uh, Parker was on the broadcast and said he wanted Dubois next. That would be a good fight. Parker's still in the mix. We forget how young Parker is. I believe he's 31, 32. And he's young. He's been, he's been in the mix for a while. And he has a ton of experience. Um, so he looked good too. Yeah, he looked, he looked good against Wilder. Won every single round. Uh, big bro says aj had him and got desperate and greedy he says he also says you didn't say it with your chest <laughs> uh joshua had him he never had him he never had his car that's why the fact that period shout out to big bro aj had phase easier competition says about el pachuco recently in gano and Wallin, he got two comfortable and it came by to back to bite him he says 
Trump, shout out to Trump saying Dubois is holding a WWF belt. But that was a great fight nonetheless.